Hi guys, Andy here. Just a quick video to show you the new Nexus launcher. So the launcher's come ahead of the actual device itself. Um, it's a fairly simplistic launcher. It's uh, different to Google Now launcher. I thought initially that it was just an update, but it's not it's a whole separate launcher. Uh, I've dropped the two APK links down below for those who want to try it. You have to install the launcher and the wallpaper, pick wall <laughs> wallpaper picker. So I'll just show you some of the differences. You probably noticed them already. But the search bar has gone from along the top, and now we've got a G button. We tap that, we get our search. With that is the date. Now they're not they're not movable. You can't move that. They're not interactive either. It's a shame you don't tap that and the calendar opens. Um, but that's them. I, th I think it looks quite nice. I have no problem with that. Just could do with being interactive, I would have thought. Um, the app draw button has gone, but now you just swipe up. On pretty much any part that you want and there's your vertically scro scrolling app drawer um, there is if we go into wallpapers so basically you can have your own photos on device wallpapers and then it's got its own whole set of different funky wallpapers so we go for life loads of different loads of different really cool looking wallpapers in there daily wallpaper tap to turn on download only on Wi-Fi so basically each day it's going to download me a new wallpaper and put it on the device which I think is pretty cool uh, while we're in there let's just look at the other settings because there aren't many of them app suggestions that's at the very top of the app drawer uh, show a Google app so I don't quite this is not working I'll turn it off fine doesn't work as you wouldn't expect I've just turned it off I'm going to turn it on again. Now I've seen someone else it has worked for them, so I'm not quite sure what that's about. Uh, what else? What else? Allow home screen rotation, so we can turn the device sideways and use it like that. Um, you do have to. You can't move. So I can move this screen further over. Oh, maybe, well. In theory, oh. like so, but I can't move the home screen. The home screen has to stay there. Uh, we also have Google Now on tap, so I'm going to hold down the home button. Now, basically, there's not much for it to analyze, so there's not much for it to to say from that one. Um, I don't know, there's not really much I can open that's going to give it something to analyze. But if you have a message from somebody saying, "Oh, let's go down to the f park," or "Let's go down, let's go and watch." Leicester play football, whatever, you, you hold down that and you see the bit where it kind of zoop, it basically analyzes your screen, it picks out information from your screen and it offers you it up as like a Google search result basically. So there we go, so the Nexus launcher is quite simplistic but it's very slick, it's quite smart, um, you might want to give it a go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.